I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial to show you guys the makeup that I've been wearing on my Instagram this is like my makeup when I want to take a photo I want to look cute and also a lot of you guys have been asking me what lashes and lip color I've been wearing so I decided just to make a video about it first things first I'm gonna put my hair up with a satin scrunchie First thing I like to do is apply foundation, and this one is Fenty. I'm in the shade 290. This foundation is like my go-to when it comes to pictures, just because your face looks just like almost airbrushed. Like it looks so pretty. So I just apply this with my beauty blender onto my face. It's really crazy because it's July, almost August. Oh my gosh, August is like tomorrow, actually and that means i've been in la for six months so next i like to use brows and I like to use i like to do my brows and this is the anastasia beverly hills brow Wiz in soft brown actually i lied in dark brown so I just like to fill in my eyebrows I don't really change up my brows too much just because I like the shape so but I do try to add more of an arch I'm gonna clean them up with some concealer and so these concealers oh my gosh these concealers just give me a second these concealers from Too Faced the Born This Way concealers they are my new favorite concealers I use them for contour I use them for highlight I use them for under my brows I love them so much I'm gonna use the shade golden beige under my brows and blend it down so then on top of my brows i use the tarte busy gal brows in the shade medium medium brown and i just apply this straight through the brow it kind of makes them a little bit thicker and it also add some color and so it makes them more brown moving on to the face i am using the Too Faced concealer in the shade chestnut as my bronzer and so i'm just going to apply this right here on both cheeks and then also along my forehead just a little bit and I'm just gonna blend this in using circular motions <gasps> oh my gosh that was my speaker my reflexes are like this like so fast if something's coming at me I'm like Choo. yeah it looks crazy at first but we'll blend it out with the beauty blender don't worry so i'm just blending this into my hairline as well really blend in that color i'm just using a little bit of foundation over it just to really blend it in next i'm using another concealer but a lighter one and this one is in the shade light beige just to highlight under my eye like my nose and let's do the chin and just blend this in I'm 
I'm setting my highlighted areas with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This one is in the translucent one. There's like a darker shade. There's like a medium shade and a dark shade, I think, but the even the medium shade is like way too dark for me. And I thought that it would be translucent, but there's a little bit of color to it. And it turned my face like kind of orange. So I'm gonna put this under my eyes. And also just on my eyes really quick just to set the concealer and I'm just blending out the rest that's on my sponge on the rest of my face just really quickly this video seems like it's all Too Faced but I promise you it's not I'm using this Too Faced um, chocolate soleil bronzer this one is the dark chocolate one I'm just gonna put this everywhere that I applied that um, concealer just really quickly setting it with the extra powder i'm just gonna blend this away with a fluffy brush so for my blush i'm using my good old dusty rose from mac on the apples of my cheeks and blending it upwards so i'm gonna do highlight last just so i can spray my face and like really intensify it but for my eyes I have been using the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette and I love this like all the colors in it if I could open it all these neutral shades right here are like what I go for okay I'm using this one which I believe is called come and get it and I'm just putting this in my crease dragging it out a little bit And I'm taking a smaller brush and just putting this also on my lower lash line. And then next I'm going into this purplish sort of like cranberry color. I think it's called Spice Trip. And I'm just applying this into my crease as well. And this is a Morphe, the Morphe. This is a Morphe brush and I've never tried Morphe brushes before, but I decided to give them a try and, and let's just say I have been missing out because this brush alone has changed the game for me. It's changed it. And that's literally all we're going to do for the eyes. Now we can move on to, actually you know what, let's add a little bit of highlight. Applying this on my inner corner. I'm curling my lashes. This is the new Hourglass Mascara. It's the Extreme Lash. And I think it has fibers in it, but it helps to extend them and make them longer for sure. So moving on to lashes, which is like one of the main things everyone keeps asking me about. The lashes are from D-Clux. D-Clux? D-Clux? I'm not sure. But um, it's in the style Lucky. Anyways, <laughs> these are the lashes and they are very spaced out, very wispy and um, separated, which is exactly the look that I've been going for and they're very long. Like they're long, long, long. They're so pretty. I'm just going to show you how it just changes this look completely. Just with lashes, like this look gets transformed. So this is with the lashes and it literally like these lashes are so long and put on a little bit of chapstick this one is from Tarte I'm not sure what these are called I think it might be from their rainforest collection the text is so teeny tiny on the bottom quench lip rescue 
I just want to moisturize my lips before my liquid lipstick so it's not super drying. This one is from Tarte. It's their Tartist lip paint and it's in the color Park Ave Princess. Okay, so next I'm just gonna set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then while my face is wet, oh my gosh, quickly, my face is a little bit wet, I'm taking my Prosecco Pop from Becca. Just putting this right on my cheek. So for my hair, I'm just gonna take it down really quick. I saw a picture where my hair was up and I had some bangs out and a lot of you guys were like asking me how I did it. So it's literally so simple. You wanna just section off your part, your fringe right here. And tie the rest of your hair up. A really loose bun <clears throat> is kind of Put your bangs how you like them. Fluff it out. This hairstyle literally took a couple seconds. You can throw on some hoops. I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you did, please make sure I'm like, <laughs> please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.